something that definitely strikes me about this exhibition is how contemporary these works are. Her other artist friends were painting in the old way of naturalism. She really wanted to have a big break from that and, and concentrate on what we now call the modern painting. Is there a work in, in particular in this show um, that really kind of highlights that experimentation? I would say fragments. It's kind of key work. It was scraped a lot, so she created this kind of uh, surface that is really uneven. It also has this element she loved to play with, that she's referring to an ancient fresco, but then again, it's completely contemporary. So we are standing in a room full of self-portraits um, by Helen Scherfbeck from age 22 right up until age um, 83. It's interesting because the first one is really classical and the last ones almost feel abstract or something. She's totally unidentifiable in a way. Throughout the portraits that we have here, you see her really experimenting with her painterly technique and breaking down the face into facets. There's also a sense in which the face appears mask-like at moments. Yeah. Each colour is its individual colour, she's mm. putting them together, and sometimes she completely misses out details or things that shouldn't make sense, but pictorially as a picture they really stand together um, and make an incredible impression of the presence of her person. In some ways she's interested in ageing as a physical process, yeah. but it's more a sense of the psychological process of ageing. What does it feel like to live in an ageing body or to, for, to see your friends fall away around you? And of course the end of her life coincided with the Second World War, so although she doesn't directly refer to that, I think you get a sense of um, the anxiety and the difficulty of the times that she was living in. So for, for me they're incredibly expressive paintings. I think this last room is really quite exciting and surprising because it's such a shift from her earlier work into these very modernist portraits of what seem like quite young people. Mm, so Scherfbeck, for the kind of majority of the 20th century, was very interested in portraying the people around her. This is a really lovely portrait of her nephew, Mons Scherfbeck, called The Motorist, which is uh, slightly ironic as he didn't actually own a car or have a driving <laughs> license. That's really emblematic of the way that she would notice something in her models. She would pick up on something in their demeanour and she would run with that with her imagination and cast them in these wonderful imaginative um, titles. So we have like the circus girl, the motorist, um, the skier. She synthesises all her influences to, to end up with these amazing portraits. To me, it also reminds me of the kind of, in France in the 1920s. Absolutely, so she was subscribed to, um, to fashion journals, she was ordering in clothes, and she was very interested in that 1920s flapper, quite androgynous look. So here, Mans is made to look quite sensual, but also some of her female models, they're quite um, androgynous. Um, there's this garçon look that she was very interested in. And she saw herself mostly as a European artist. Her practice had been formed by her, her youthful travels. And even once she was back in Finland and she wasn't traveling, she was in touch with the rest of Europe. And she very much saw herself as European rather than solely Finnish.